Well, the USL says they're back. The USL Players Association says not so fast. On Thursday, the USL Championship Board of Governors voted to resume the 2020 season that was suspended back in March due to COVID-19. But as KTSM 9's Colin Deaver tells us, a lot has to happen between now and when they take the pitch at Southwest University Park. From 7,000 feet above, the USL's announcement that the season will resume on July 11th is a positive step for all sides. It's great to see that you know, the, the league has a desire to play a season. Players just want to play games, however many it is. To do that, though, many details have to be ironed out. With COVID-19 continuing to hit the country hard, the health and safety of everyone is number one. We all understand and appreciate the importance and, and frankly, the priority of health and safety first. I know that they're continuing to do their due diligence and put things in front of players. Um, and we're working on the players end to see kind of where's the collective group uh, feel a level of comfort. Since a large number of players have families, large-scale coronavirus testing is important for the league's return. For those players, that's a much bigger concern regarding if I do contract it, I give it to my wife who gives it to my kids, or I give it to my kids, or however that happens. You know, that those are those are much bigger concerns for, for some people than others. USL looked at continuing the season with the hub format, much like the NBA, but is instead moving forward with a plan to play games in home stadiums, potentially with fans, depending on local and state guidelines. USL is also planning another change to help limit the spread. The goal is to, uh, to adjust the divisions and the, the schedule to accommodate primarily bus travel. Perhaps the biggest X factor is an ongoing dispute over compensation. In short, the league wants to dock players pay to save money during the pandemic. The players obviously want to be paid their full salaries. While most teams, including Locomotive FC, have stepped up and are still paying the players in full, it could be a snag in the planned restart. This isn't a vote to yes, there will guaranteed be a season. It's a vote to this is how the season will look if we continue down this road. Um, so that's, it's good for us, you know, players just want to play games. More details must be figured out, including schedules, a full-on return to practice, and complete safety measures. The league will do its best to do all of it in the next 37 days. Reporting in El Paso, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.